Low vision can be caused by many things, including diabetes, glaucoma and age-related macular degeneration. It can be debilitating for those in that position and make everyday tasks seem impossible. However, help is at hand to make reading small print easier. Daisy McAndrew met Jennifer Brower, ABDO's low vision expert, to take a look at what's out there. Jennifer Brown, thank you so much for talking to me today about low vision. I know you're an expert of many years in the subject, but just explain to us, first of all, exactly what low vision means. Low vision is a term that you use for people who can't get a normal standard of vision with spectacles or contact lenses or by any other means and it means they need special things to help them to be able to read and see in the far distance. So we're not just talking about an average person who needs glasses to, to correct, we're talking about um, conditions that can't be corrected right. with, with glasses. And what would those conditions normally be? What would the causes normally be? There's quite a few very common conditions, uh, particularly in older people. Age-related macular degeneration is one, that affects the central vision. Glaucoma is another, untreatable cataract retinitis pigmentosa and also the effects of diabetes can have an effect on the eye. And obviously one of the, the, the common thread between all those conditions is, is they're, they're untreatable in, in many ways, that either it's going to stay, the vision is going to stay as bad as it is or it's going to degenerate further. Presumably when a patient is told that, that must be well, very upsetting but also they must assume that there in some ways is no help out there if, if a surgeon or a doctor can't help. It is. It's very distressing to be told, well, I can't do anything more for you. Is A patient goes through a whole range of emotions, anger, denial, and then gradually, hopefully, they begin to seek a bit of advice. And where do they get that advice? Where should they get that advice from? Well, if somebody is diagnosed as not being able to be treated any further, usually by an ophthalmologist, an eye surgeon, um, that person's often referred to a low vision clinic within the hospital, or they can go to their local optical practice. And I'm I'm guessing when they come to the clinic, they're, they're not sure what sort of help or advice they're going to be getting because if the surgeon's already said there's nothing more we can do, what can they expect? What help is available? It depends quite a lot on the eye condition. Um, eye conditions fall into three main categories, either central vision, where wherever you look, you've got a little problem in the middle of your eye, but you can walk around easily because the outside vision is not affected. Um, that's the most common, and that can be helped by magnifying aids. I've brought some today to show you. Um, or there's conditions that affect the outside vision, so although the central vision is very clear, it can be having problems walking around because it's like wearing blinkers. You can't really see where you're going. Um, and you've mentioned that you've brought some of these products along, and I'm guessing that the expert would guide yes. um, the, the customer or the patient towards what, what product would help and what product would be a, a waste of money. Um, what, let's say if we're talking about macular degeneration, which is where the, the central vision goes, which of these, what, what products do you think would, would help somebody with that condition? Well, basically magnifying aids are going to be the things that help somebody with a macular problem the most. All these are macular aids. So, for example, we've got... Um, a very high-tech CCTV system, a magnifying system, which you just use this little mouse, which is a camera, and it's very useful if you're reading a recipe. Those are the ingredients. There's the method, and you get it under 20, 30 times magnification, so it's much yeah. easier to see. Obviously, that would be something you keep in your house. Yes. You wouldn't be taking no. that out, no, no. out with you. So some of these are much more portable. Um, what, what does this little box do? This one is a similar sort of system that you can put either on a little stand or you can hold it flat and that works in the same way uh, very portable very good for shopping and you get different magnifications with this because some people need more help than others and again you just move it across and you can read the price or the instructions on a packet but this is very very portable very useful um, is, is there anything that you can do to help prevent some of these eye conditions well if people have their eyes examined regularly which really is the key then the optometrist will be able to pick up any problems early and refer that patient on to the doctor, the ophthalmologist, and then hopefully they're in the chain of uh, being, being helped. Well, Jennifer Brow, thank you so much for thank talking you. to me today. Thank you.